Hi Real Women of Philadelphia, I'm Kelly Shippey and today I'm going to make a fresh peach soup because my favorite thing about spring is all the fresh fruits and vegetables. So to honor Paula Deen, our little Georgia peach, let's get in the kitchen and start cooking. Okay, in my pot I have three cups of peaches that have been cleaned and sliced. And to that we're going to add two tablespoons of butter. We need that to melt down. And we're gonna add half a cup of sugar. What we're doing here is making our own syrup. That's why it's great to use fresh. You can also use frozen peaches, but make sure that you get the kind that doesn't have syrup because we're making our own syrup. So on our medium high heat, melt this down. We're also gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla. And a teaspoon of cinnamon with just a pinch of nutmeg. Now we're gonna let this simmer on the stove for about 10 minutes until it all starts to get incorporated and juicy and melts. It smells good already. melting in there. What we want is the syrup to start to thicken and the butter with the sugar is going to do that. Okay, it's all getting melted. Now here's the secret ingredient. A tablespoon of apricot brandy. There we go. Now we've got it coming to a simmer. So apricot brandy reminds me of my husband's grandmother. She and her sister, if times were tough or something bad had happened, they'd say, oh, let's go get some of the family recipe. And then if they had something to celebrate, they'd say, oh, let's go celebrate with some of the family recipe. And my husband had no idea what this family recipe was or why as a child he was not allowed to have any. He wanted to celebrate too. And it wasn't until he was an adult that he found out it was homemade apricot brandy. So thank you, Graham and Annie Mae. Okay, so now that everything is incorporated, we're gonna put it in the food processor, the whole thing. Don't touch the side, it's hot. All right, I'm gonna scrape and make sure I get all that yummy syrup that we made out of there. That's what's going to give it its nice sweet flavor. Okay. And then pop the top on. And here we go. Okay, now to this, we're gonna add, of course, our Philadelphia cream cheese. Now for this recipe, I prefer the whipped. It's gonna give it a light texture so that it's not such a heavy recipe with the syrup, and we're gonna add heavy cream. So we'll pop the top off and add about eight ounces of the whipped Philadelphia cream cheese. Now to this, we're going to slowly add eight ounces of heavy cream. Just check the 
texture and see that's nice and smooth. Mmm, <laughs> it's so good. Okay, now we put it in the fridge to chill. Okay, now that we've got it out of the fridge, we're gonna pour it into a little dish. All right, a little fresh whipped cream right on top. A little mint right there and how about a slice of peach okay now I gotta try it it smells so good so fresh sweet <laughs> that is a little bowl of heaven I hope you enjoy it as much as I'm going to enjoy eating this whole bowl. And it's the perfect side dish for a spring or summer day. Enjoy! I know I'm going to.